Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Magandang umaga din po, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpassed the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Gird yourselves and weep, O priest. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God. The house of your God is deprived of offering and libation. Proclaim a fast, call an assembly. Gather the elders, all who dwell in the land, into the house of the Lord your God, and cry to the Lord. Alas, the day, for near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin from the Almighty. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near, a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and somberness, like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mighty. Their like has not been from of old, nor will it be after them even to the years of distant generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will judge the world with justice. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord will judge the world with justice. Alleluia, alleluia. The prince of this world will now be cast out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drive out demons. Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven, but he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul and that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. 
But if it is with the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes back and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of the man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Magandang umaga din po, Father. Minsan ako po ay uh, nagmisa sa isang school. Pagkatapos ko magbihis, papunta ako nung sakristi. Nakasalubong ko yung isang sakristan. Umiiyak, nagtatanggal na kanyang sotana. Kaya ang sabi ko, kapatid, bakit ka umiiyak? Sabi niya, Father, inaaway po nila ako. Itinuro ang ibang sakristan. Sabi ko, paano inaaway ka nila? Anong ginawa nila sa iyo? Sabi, Father, ang pangit ko daw kasi mataba ako, maitim pa ako, pandak pa ako. Sabi ko, naniwala ka naman sa sinabi nila. Eh kasi, Father, lahat sila nagsasabi. Ano ang sabi ng nanay mo? Gwapo daw ako. Paniwalaan mo yung nanay mo. Eh kasi, Father, po ulit-ulit nila sinasabi, pandak ako, mataba ako, maitim ako, bumusina kami, nasasagasaang ka na. Tumawa yung bata. Mga kapatid, we cannot please everyone. What is important for us is to have a clarity of vision, to have a clear goal. What is it that I want to happen? And what are the steps I'm going to take? Distractions along the way, and dami niyan. And even the worst are coming from family members. The worst that we can encounter are words coming from family members. That's why in many of my talks, especially to parents, pag mga parent-child encounter, I would always tell them, do not make your children the depository of garbage in the family. Avoid words that could hurt. Jesus in today's gospel, people, especially those who were witness when he drive out demons, were biased against him. Why? Because they knew who Jesus was from a human perspective. Kapit bahay nila, anak ng isang karpentero, at isipin mo, eh, bakit ito eh anak na karpentero? Kapit bahay lang namin ito eh nakikilala, nakakagawa ng mga bagay na hindi namin nagagawa. But these distractions did not hinder Jesus from continuing the work the Father has given us. In our own day-to-day -day lives, especially that desire to take care of our families, that desire to help people around us, these are noble intentions. And then we hear people talking behind us. Kapatid, if you have a very strong sense of self and you have a clear vision rooted in God's call, hindi ka matitinag. Ano man ang sabihin nila sa iyo. I remember way back in the seminary, uh, some, I've shared this to some of our seminarians, when we were still uh, seminarians as well, meron akong isang kasama, magkaibigan pa rin kami, pare na siya ngayon. No? Lagi siyang naiinis sa akin noon, actually hindi lang sa akin, sa iba pang in-charge ng aming uh, liturgy. Because when we were still altar servers, we were given a seminar, uh, yung pagsiserve, yung bagong after PCP2. Eh siya old style pa, even the insensation. So we always correct him to the point na naiinis siya, ang tawag niya sa akin, the burn bush. Uh, meron kaming parang play sa klase. Uh, siya yung leader, nag assign Sabi niya, total maitim ka na laman. Natrabaho mo na lang, ikaw na lang yung burn bush. Sabi ko, okay. 
Kuha ko ng mga dahon sa labas, yung mga sanga-sanga. O, gumaganon ako. Sabi ko, paano yan? Walang apoy. Mag- gumawa ka ng paraan. O, di, ganun na lang. Huh? I was not affected. I was even kidding him. Black is beautiful. Tapos sabi niya, oo nga, sobrang black nagiging charcoal. Tignan mo, guwapo naman. Huh? If we are clear with ourselves, no matter what people would say, it wouldn't hurt us. Why? Because we know who we are. When people try to say something against us, it's imperative also to check, totoo ba ito o hindi? Kasi kung totoo, then it's an invitation to change, to become better. But if not, then do not be distracted from your goal, from your desires, as long as you know who you are. Pagpalain tayong lahat. Please rise. Gathered together in Christ, who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and opposing the subtle influences of evil, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the fullness of that those who have died may receive into the fullness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son, who conquered sin and death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bless your Lord God of all creation for your goodness and receive the bread we offer you through to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless your Lord God of all creation for your goodness and receive the wine we offer you through to the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are placed to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was handed, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us ready to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, all the religious missionaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially Sister May de la Lamon. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Peter and Paul, Blessed James Alberione, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
For those who cannot receive communion, join. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and love of Christ and be a blessing to your family and to one another. Thanks be to God.